Good evening and welcome to Eye on Oswego. I'm Kathy Johnson. And I'm Steve Higgins. This week we'll be taking a look at the Oswego High School Marching Band in competition at the Carrier Dome. And Professor Fred Bartle of the SUNY Oswego will be here to talk about the election results and their effects on the community. And our man in the street this week will be asking the big question, when will Oswego receive its first significant snowfall of the year? The Oswego High School Marching Band, better known as the Bucks, were one of the ten bands to participate to take part in a statewide competition this past weekend in the Carrier Dome in Syracuse. Each band in the competition put on a 15-minute field performance, which was judged on a 100-point scale. Ian Oswego's Sherry Clegg traveled along with the Bucks to Syracuse and has this report. Ian Oswego is at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse with the Oswego Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are currently ranked third in the New York High School field marching bands. They are competing tonight in the open class competition against such bands as West Genesee, who has won first place for the past eight years. I'm here with the band director of the Oswego Buccaneers, Ed Liss. How long have you been in the New York State High School band competition? This is our 10th year, Sherry. And do you find the competition the fiercest of ever now? Yes, this, this year it's very difficult. The top five bands are well, the only way I can describe them are vicious. Everyone is out to win. <laughs> and uh, so the competition tonight has been very keen. How many other competitions have you been in outside of New York State? Uh, well, we were in five competitions this year. We didn't go out of New York State this year. Last year, we were in uh, Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, participated in one of the biggest contests in the nation. And we were very, very happy with the results there. Out of 35 bands, we were we came in seventh position, and uh, so we were very, very happy with that. I'm here with... David Nahara. Antigone McKenna. And what do each of you do in the band? Well, I'm the drum major, and I conduct and keep everyone in line. <laughs> and I play clarinet. And um, did you find it very nervous being in the Carrier Dome tonight? Well, sort of. Uh, when you're coming in here, it's a lot different. As soon as you hit the turf and see all those people, you start thinking, well, what am I going to do and all that. But you settle down after a while. I'm, I have my back to the crowd, so it's a little different for me. And how do you feel with your front to the crowd? Um, <laughs> I guess it's just the height that really, it just knocks you out. <laughs> and the sound just dissipates so much. It's hard to hear commands from him and everything. How do you both feel the competition win tonight? Well, I think we did pretty well. Uh, some parts are really tight, and I'm pretty confident. Others, <laughs> Others were wow. unexpected. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see in a few seconds. <laughs> okay. Now that we've heard all about the hard work that goes into the Oswego Buccaneers marching band, let's see a little bit of what they did tonight at the Carrier Dome.
height of tension tonight was not the marching on the field as much as it was the award ceremony following all the bands tonight. Let's take a look at how that turned out. Following the award ceremony tonight, Ian Oswego got a chance to talk with Ed Lisk once again. How do you feel the band did tonight? Well, I think we put out our best best show that we have all season, and uh, the competition was just extremely keen tonight. And uh, uh, the scores uh, with the championship band coming in with a 97 out of 100 uh, gives you an idea of the kind of competition that class bands are involved with. We had a 91 point something as far as our score, uh, but we have to go back and work harder and uh, work for more precision. That's what it's about. <laughs> From the Carrier Dome, this is Sherry Clegg for Ian Oswego. All of us here at Ian Oswego would like to congratulate the Bucks Band for their fine performance on Sunday. Well, thank you for joining us for another week of I in Oswego. We'll be back again next week with another look at the community and the events happening in and around Oswego. And if there's something that you'd like to see on our program, get in touch with us. You can write to I in Oswego, Lanigan Hall, SUNY Oswego, Oswego, New York, 13126. And we'll leave you tonight with some more of the Oswego High School marching band as they performed in the Carrier Dome this past weekend. Until next weekend, good night, everyone. This winter has definitely been a brutal winter for all of us here in the area, although there has been one place where the sun has continued to shine. That is, of course, the newly opened tanning studio on 104 West Bridge Street. We're here this evening with Jay and Julie of Jay's Tanning Studio. Hello, Jay. Hello, Julie. What type of person is your average customer, or does it vary greatly? You don't really have an average customer. Because we have, you know, our customer line just, it stretches from young and old. We've got a lady comes in here that's 73 years old, just loves it to death. And we've got, you know, young girls and young guys coming in. We've got construction workers, students, uh, bank employees. You know, there is no average person. It's just sun worshipers. In a business like this, like you said, there's, al there's always the question of safety. What do you tell your customers uh, when they bring this question to you what is your response the first thing that you know we try to get the people to understand that these are the only beds that are on the market today uh, that were designed for the treatment of skin problems not for tanning tanning was a byproduct and these are German made beds and they were constructed in Germany to help the problems that the Germans had uh, after World War II and these are the 
uh, what would you say, the, uh, the ultimate product of their, their uh, research. Mm -hmm. uh, the Germans have taken and uh, separated the good rays from the bad rays. Uh, in the ultraviolet system you have, or in the ultraviolet spectrum, you have three rays that pertain to the skin. Uh, you have UVA, UVB, and UVC. And the UVA, which is like your therapeutic ray, or your mild ray, which is beneficial to your skin, has been separated away from the B and the C ray, which is very harmful to your skin. they are longer wavelengths, and they'll go into your skin, the deeper parts of your skin, and dry out like your, uh, uh, your sweat glands and your oil glands, and that's what causes the wrinkling and the aging of your skin. It's just like an orange. Dehydration. Yeah, dehydration. Mm -hmm. When, you know, like in a, an orange, when you take away the moisture in the skin, it wrinkles up. In the same way with you, you know, the human skin. For Ion Oswego, I am Pam Ebersell. Senator George McGovern was on the SUNY campus at Oswego this week speaking to students, faculty members, and the community on various issues. McGovern covered the issues of the presidential primaries, U.S. policies in Nicaragua and Israel, and the question of nuclear energy. Do you view Reverend Jackson as a power broker of the Democratic Party? And is Jackson a serious contender for the vice presidency? I don't know about the vice presidency. I'm not sure that he, uh, he himself or others are likely to consider him for that uh, role. I have always felt that Jesse Jackson's major role will be to mobilize black voters, uh, to get them participating in the process. And I guess the results show he's doing doing that. He did it in New York City. He did it in Chicago. He's done it in Philadelphia. He's done it in Alabama. And I think he'll continue to uh, do that as to his power broker role. Uh, obviously, if he goes into that convention with 10% uh, of the delegates or more, he'll have something to say about the platform. And uh, maybe if the Democrats win about uh, the filling of major appointments and so on. Do you feel that that will adversely affect the Democratic Party's chances in their bid to defeat Ronald Reagan in November? It would destroy us. Yeah, I don't think the Democrats would have a chance with uh, Jesse Jackson running as an independent. I don't think he'll do that. Uh, he has said repeatedly he's not going to take a walk out at the convention. I think he means that. But if he took 10 or 15 percent of the uh, vote away from the Democratic contender, I think that uh, it would be c catastrophic. Do you feel it possible that a third party candidate could be selected at the convention this summer? I don't think so. Uh, I think with John Anderson already uh, having gone through a third party candidacy in 1980 and considering another one now, it's unlikely that you're going to get a, a major third party movement on top of that one. I'm not even sure at this stage that you'll see Anderson in the race as a third party contender. My understanding is that he still hasn't made a firm decision to go as a third party candidate. So we may not have any major uh, third party uh, candidates. You'll get a few of these little splinter groups like we always have, but I doubt if there'll be any really significant third party movement this time. One of the reasons I feel that way is that I think you're going to have a sharp difference of opinion between the Democratic nominee on the one hand and Ronald Reagan on the other. And that's really what voters are looking for. They want, a, they want a choice. I don't think they'll be as eager for a third party choice this time as they were, for example, in 1980. Following a press conference, Senator McGovern spoke to a large enthusiastic crowd and responded to questions from both campus and Oswego communities. McGovern stressed his, the need for party unity and his role as a unifier for the Democratic Party. Reporting for Ion Oswego, I'm Tom Elling. for SUNY Oswego Dance Marathon has just begun. These dancers will be out here for the next 28 hours, excluding a few hours, barely a few hours, that they'll get time to rest up and sleep. Hi, what's your name? Keith Chamberlain. And you are? Tanya. Why are you out here? Why not? She asked me, so I said, sure. Did you do anything special to prepare for this? Um, I ran a half a lap on the track. Did you do anything special today? No, I slept. Caught up on sleep. You're going to need it. You're going to make it the whole 28 hours? Yeah, I think so. I hope to see you here tomorrow night. 
block. We'll be standing. Matt's Brewery is donating beer to people who come to watch the festivities. Kicking off this evening's dance marathon at the opening presentation, a representative of the Matt's Brewery presented the dance marathon people with a blank check. Right now the total is at $1,000. That will be updated on a big board above the refreshment stand periodically throughout the marathon lending their assistance to the evening's activities representatives of the Oswego YMCA in addition to the dancing the bands and the videos here at the 1984 dance marathon booths were set up by dorms and sororities and fraternities as an alternative to, for those who were just watching the participants out of the initial 130 couples at the dance marathon with only hours remaining, approximately 50 remain. Those that have dropped out did so through, due to fatigue. Hi, you having a good time? Yeah, yeah. Did you think you'd make it this far? Yeah, I was ready, I rested for it. If there was something else you could be doing right now, what would it be? Sleeping. That seems to be what everybody says. No problem for the next two and a half hours? No problem. Think you could go further? Uh, maybe, my feet won't stop. <laughs> what was the most, memorable thing that's happened to you in the past 24 hours? Uh, trying to sleep in Laker Hall with 300 no, people. Not easy? No, very noisy. Did you get some sleep though? Yeah, on the hard floor I did. Well, good luck for the rest of this. Thank you. So, uh, if there was something else that you could be doing right now, it wouldn't be sleeping? No, it would be either dancing or playing tennis. Playing tennis? What'd you do to overnight? Overnight we went over to Laker. Did you sleep well? I slept like a log. <laughs> Got stored up energy to come back out here again? Yeah, but the worst thing is having somebody wake up after a four hour sleep and telling you you have to dance in 16 hours. With a little over an hour left to go in the dance marathon, these dancers are digging deep for the last bit of energy to see them through to the end. They started last night, 8 p.m., with 150 couples. Now they're down to the diehards, about 50 couples left. The ones that dropped out, mostly through fatigue, the ones left, still raring to go. Many of them say they'll dance all night. Dance Marathon seems to have been a success, despite not the turnout that the coordinators would have liked. Nevertheless, proceeds will be contributed to RSVP, the YMCA of Oswego, and the DKK Rebuilding Fund. For Ian Oswego, I'm Mitchell Rosenthal. Sendo nômade, não preciso me preocupar com as minhas mulheres, nem com chamadas telefônicas, nem meu harém. Sempre que ao sair, posso ser alcançado por telefone. Basta levar comigo o meu AT&T Nomad 800. Ele tem um sistema de comunicação secreto, ele tem um alcance de 700 pés e pode também embaralhar sua voz para assegurar sua privacidade. O AT&T Nomad 800. Nome genial. Excuse me, haven't you heard about Clorox Fresh Scented Bleach? No, I haven't. With Clorox Fresh Scented Bleach, you won't need that gas mask anymore. You mean you have a bleach that smells good? Clorox has combined its strong cleaning and whitening agents with a new pleasant fresh scent. Hmm. Clorox new fresh scented bleach sounds like the answer to my laundry problems. New Clorox Fresh Scented Bleach cleans just as well with a fresh scented smell. Wanna flirt? What do you have in mind? See? Flirts. Flirts? You know, the new fluoride breath mint from Flirts. Fluoride? Yeah, it's got everything you need to take great care of your smile. Can I try one? Sure. Mmm, good. It's sugarless, too. That is a nice smile you have. Why do you think I flirt? Flirts breath mints with everything you need for your smile. 